slightly a, a lighter chapter no not too much of uh, calculations involved in it right more to deal with uh, the various uh, rating agencies and what actually uh, drives them are probably uh, on what basis are what are the various ratings do they give and how do i interpret the ratings for the various uh, so it's just a very brief introductory kind of a chapter itself on the rating agencies which we have to understand the major role of any rating agency is to assess the credit worthiness of today we are seeing of of every instrument even for ipos you'll see some credit rating agencies giving their grading right even for uh, loans see typically uh, the scenario is just evaluating the paying capacity of the borrower to what extent he is uh, he is sound enough so even if he is taking a loan to what extent uh, he can you can be assured of receiving your payment that is what is the major role which uh, any credit rating agency is performing so there are two things which they generally evaluate which we have to be very careful of they they evaluate the issue issue is nothing but the specific bond which has been raised they provide an evaluation for that issue or they will also provide an evaluation for the issuer issuer is a company as a whole issue is different kinds of bonds because uh, a company can issue four or five types of bonds four or five bonds each bond may have a separate rate rating overall the company can have a separate rate rating right because uh, see if the ini for the initial borrowing where let's say a few 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 hundred million probably the company's uh, company's overall business structure is so solid that they can pay that loan very easily so that will get a very high rating whereas another another 1000 uh, million they are raising now that extra capital the position of the company may not be that strong enough to repay that much amount because unless they find avenues to run their business for that for that 1000 uh, million they cannot generate profits and they cannot pay interest so what could happen the higher the amounts that are getting raised the higher the risk comes in let's say even uh, in an individual standpoint also if i want to borrow a 10 uh, 10 lakh loan for my house banks give it without too much of evaluation and all but if i want 1 uh, crore for my housing loan and my paying capacity is my salaries are very lesser then probably even if i am paid i mean even assuming that they are sanctioning the loan they'll sanction it at a higher rate and uh, probably so many so much of other collateral may come in because my credit worthiness is not worth sufficient for that one crore that's where probably when the banks typically approach for the loan also they say at the max we can give you this much of a loan they just take some i mean they have a crude ways of doing the calculation also some some number times your annual pay whatever i don't uh, there are different mechanisms of arriving at that but the intention behind all these things is your payment potential right so if you are demanding a loan very high than your payment potential either it would be rejected or it would be charged a higher rate of interest because your credit worthiness is actually going much down so even if a bank is not willing to give someone else is willing to give a chit fund company is willing to give that loan but it may give it to you at a much higher rate because the risk associated is much higher in that process so typically the the intention is to inform the investors or lenders about the ability of the company to pay the interest as well as the principal and today not just the companies everyone is preferring themselves to get rated a borrower themselves the companies are willing to get themselves rated 
for the simple reason probably if their rating is higher they will get the loan at a much cheaper rate because they can use it as a brand our credit rating is this much so probably they can get an access to the capital at a much cheaper rate so from that perspective the borrowers want to get themselves rated the lenders want the ratings of the borrowers so that they can assess which borrowers to typically lend money to and which they can omit depending on their risk taking level probably the banks they are the lenders they are assessing the credit worthiness of so many companies so that they can decide what should be the mix of their portfolio they cannot choose all safe safe kind of people they may try to look at some risk taking some safe they can create a portfolio around it right and even the regulators today are deciding low so many things based on the outputs with the rating agencies are given that is one of the prime reasons even contributing to the subprime crisis also even uh, it is it's a big well known fact that rating agencies have contributed majorly to the crisis because of their formulas and algorithms whatever they have used so regulators they depend very heavily on the output which is provided by the rating agencies like margin margin requirements in futures market or for that matter any forward market in the interest rates or any of the stuff today uh, even the minimum capital requirements for insurance companies banks they are all based on the rating agencies output itself right typically uh, when we talk about capital adequacy ratio which has to be maintained by the bank again a rating agency is pitching in there and giving one rating corresponding to it based on the capital adequacy ratio so based on that ratio probably the banks are evaluating or the, the regulator will evaluate or oh, let there be a minimum capital requirement of something so based on what the rating agencies are uh, giving there are so many people using that information but uh, typically there are some nationally recognized 